Welcome to MSG Dish. I'm here with Dr. Keith Ayu, an internationally known nutritionist, registered dietitian, an associate clinical professor of pediatrics at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York, and a blogger here at msgdish.com. Keith, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks very much for having me. A common question is, since MSG helps reduce sodium in my diet, can I just replace all of the sodium in my kitchen with MSG? Well, this is really a matter of personal preference. MSG has about 40% less sodium than table salt, gram for gram. So even a modest replacement will result in less sodium in your diet. And in many foods, I use a one-to-one -one ratio of salt to MSG. So I get a great umami flavor with maximum sodium reduction. But on msgdish.com, culinary experts like Chef Chris will typically replace about one third of the salt in the recipe with MSG. So start with that and see where your taste buds lead you. Great. Our more skeptical followers ask us, isn't MSG just another synthetic chemical? No, MSG is made using a fermentation process very similar to the one that's used to make yogurt. And it's made up of two naturally occurring substances that are found in foods we like and eat every day, like broccoli, tomatoes, mushrooms, fish, Parmesan cheese. So it's perfectly natural. Another question is, is there a way to avoid glutamate if I just want to be cautious? Well, glutamate's a very important amino acid, so you wouldn't want to avoid it. In fact, you couldn't. Our bodies already make our own glutamate. It's everywhere in our body. It's very important in the gut. And just as importantly, the body doesn't distinguish between different sources of glutamate. So whether it's glutamate your body's making or whether it's from foods that we love or umami seasoning like MSG, our bodies simply recognize it all as glutamate. Keith, thank you so much for helping us answer these questions today. Thanks very much. Glad to be here. And for more information about umami, glutamate, and MSG, visit msgfacts.com. And to read Keith's blogs, visit msgdish.com. Thank you so much. Thanks very much.